My name is Ben Goodall. I study music technology and computer science at UNC Asheville. And today I would like to demonstrate a few applications of a method of musical synthesis I've been developing that utilizes what I call harmonic modulation envelopes. The motivation behind this project was to combine the dynamic features of a guitar's timbre with synthesized audio. In the previous video, we described the signal processing tools we utilize to achieve this. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the description below. In the previous video, all the examples we provided utilized a guitar modulating a static sawtooth. And while this was useful for demonstrating how each component of the software works, today I would like to demonstrate these filters on virtual instruments that resemble sounds that actually might be used in a musical context. We are going to demonstrate a subtle combination of the three filters that were presented in the previous video on three virtual instruments from Ableton Live. This is the recording of the guitar that will be used to control and modulate each of the virtual instruments. Each of the three filters that were rendered from this recording of the guitar, the beat filter, the onset filter, and the decay filter, will be weighted and combined with the virtual instrument in order to achieve a subtle combination of the guitar recording and the virtual instrument. This modulated virtual instrument will then be combined with the residual component of the guitar recording to retain the attack of a plucked string. The first recording you're going to hear will be the audio produced by the virtual instrument. The second recording will be that same piece of audio modulated by the HME filters. Let's listen to that one more time. You should be able to hear beat patterns that were produced from the guitar's harmonics, as well as a mutedness on the second through sixth note which was caused by palm muting the string as it was plucked. For our next example, we applied the same process to a Rhodes keyboard plugin. This is what that sounds like. For the last demonstration, we applied the same process to a vibraphone plugin from Ableton Live. This is what that sounds like. Let's listen to that one more time. You should be able to hear the same mutedness on the second through sixth note of the melody. There's also a kind of swelling beat pattern or nonlinearity on the third note of this melody. The number of applications of these filters is limitless. The results can range anywhere from slightly altering the tone of the guitar to very interesting and unique combinations of synthetic and organic timbres. I look forward to seeing what other musicians and engineers can do with this technology.